It's 1988. Ben Johnson wins the 100m gold at the Seoul Olympics. Soviet Red Army withdraws from Afghanistan. And Stephen Hawking publishes A Brief History of Time. Bo Jackson became known beyond just sports fans through the Bo Knows advertising campaign. And Michael Jordan won his first MVP trophy. Of course, it wasn't just that. He also earned his only defensive player of the year, made All-NBA team and won his second slam dunk contest in a duel against Dominic Wilkins. This was also the year when he finally made it out of the first round by beating the Cavaliers. 30 years later, his legendary shoes of that year, the Jordan 4s, arguably the best Jordans of all time, compete at today's test with a LeBron 16 medicine ball inspired by another iconic pair, the Air Trainer 3 Bo Jackson shoe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Steph from 99 Sneakers, and let's see how two iconic colorways from the past are transforming our sneaker experience in 2019. On one hand, we've got a modern performance shoe, the LeBron 16, worn by the king himself. On the other hand, there's the shoe that the GOAT the greatest of all time, has won and won MVP. The legacy of the LeBron is not that great since James didn't even enter the playoffs with these shoes and had to wear them off-court just in order for the people to see him wearing it. But still, the legacy is not only LeBron's. The shoe is a tribute to Bo Jackson, as we mentioned earlier, so that for a connoisseur is enough of a reason to buy and rock. How do these two stand as shoes in comparison? Well, that's an interesting question. We will rank them aesthetically, performance-wise, and from the standpoint of a reseller. Let's start with the aesthetics. The Jordan 4 is the absolute Jordan. Created by the man himself, Tinker Hatfield, it's not only worn by a legend, but is also designed by another legend. The shoe is an instant classic. It's black and red, and that's the reason they call it Bread. Bread as a name is quite new, as all of the OGs knew them as Black Cement Force, but with one name or the other, the shoe is a 10 out of 10. The LeBron 16 is an amazing shoe, impressive in its bulkiness and in the best possible colorway if you wish to wear them not only on court, but off court as well. The medicine ball reference it's quite strange for me, but still, the white shoe with the ginger leather and the blue shoes and upper sole combine for an extraordinary aesthetic result. It's 9.5 for me. Now, what about performance? The Jordan 4 are not meant to perform, not by today's standards. The argument that MJ did perform in them is quite irrelevant since every NBA player, let alone Jordan, is playing at a level where the shoe has little to do with his performance, as far as it's just not hurting him. For me and you, retro sneakers like these are a bit of a shame to be considered as ball shoes, even if they are structured like they are. This is a 7.5 out of 10 for us. The LeBron 16 are performance shoes. They are full-length max air, they are comfy, bouncy and supportive all at the same time while they are boasting Battlenet 2.0. What more can I say? I guess I can say some more things when I play enough time in them, but since then, let's stick to what we know. That's why I would put a 9 out of 10. Reselling wise, it's pretty clear. Jordan 4 is not limited by any case in this latest release of 2019, yet it's always considered as a grail for a lot of people. It's arguably one of the best colorways, if not the best, one of the best Jordans, if not the best, so it's logical to think that resellers will always make money out of one of those. 9.5 out of 10 for their reselling value by us. On the other hand, LeBron's are selling like most performance basketball shoes, under retail with few exceptions. 
The medicine ball sneakers are not supposed to be one of those, but of course they are not one of the bad colorways, so you might not lose money. 7.5 out of 10 for that reason. If we add up their score, we can see that Jordans outscore Lebrons by a small but significant margin. But this is just our opinion. We really would like to read yours at the comment section below. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. It will mean the world to us. See you on the next one.